Finding a good fireworks show is pretty tough this year because so many were canceled and police in Tiga K were worried about the city's plan to go on with their display. The concern was that with nowhere else to go, big crowds would descend on the shows that were still happening. Reporter Aaron Edwards is live after checking out the turnout for us tonight. Aaron, what did it look like? Genevieve, the show just wrapped up a little while ago, but people are still setting off fireworks all around us here. And Tiga K police were expecting larger crowds than usual since other shows in the Charlotte area were canceled. But people I spoke to who come every year say crowds were actually smaller. Now, controversy surrounded the fireworks show this year. Tiga K police originally asked to cancel the show earlier this week. The police chief sent a letter to city leaders asking them not to hold the 4th of July celebrations this year. And the letter warned the police department may not have the manpower to handle the crowds since every other show is canceled and people may flood the city. A couple days ago, the city canceled the 4th of July parade, but decided to still go on with the fireworks show. And crowds have been under control tonight. The parking lot to the golf and conference center, which I'm told usually fills up hours before the show, didn't fill up until right around 9 o'clock tonight. People who showed up later were sent to a nearby park and elementary school. And people we spoke to say they're glad the city decided to still hold the show. So far, everyone looks um, pretty friendly and everyone's keeping their distance. So that's really good. And I feel comfortable. I think that the city is taking, you know, the right precautions and, you know, limiting parking and um, just regulating the whole situation. So I do feel safe. As for masks tonight, we didn't see anyone wearing masks, but for the most part, people were social distancing. Genevieve. All right, Erin, thanks so much.